So over this last year, I've actually been developing my sneaker collection, adding more sneakers to my overall shoe collection. But looking back, if I had to size down everything, I think there's only five sneaker styles that a man actually needs that will keep you prepared for almost any outfit any style that you want to pull off and look great in. But before we get into it, of course, to pull off and rock these sneakers, you're going to want stylish clothes and awesome accessories to look great. And whether it is a sweet watch, fresh shades, or a cool minimalist backpack, our sponsor, The Fifth, pretty much covers it all. Not only that, they do it amazingly. All of their products are just really aesthetic and minimal in design that allow you to use it across almost any outfit and are really great add-ons to your outfit that, in my opinion, elevate your style. But on top of that, they're super affordable and that's what I really like. That it's a brand that gives you quality, amazing style at a price that's actually attainable for us guys. And even better, since they are our sponsor, they always hook you guys up with a special discount code just for you guys because you're viewers. So I'm gonna have them linked below with the discount code so you guys can check it out. So now let's get into these five sneakers that I believe every guy should own. The first one is the gym sneaker, the sneaker that you're gonna be using to work out. Now I think you already know which sneaker that is that I wear and it's the Nike Free Run Flyknit. For me, this sneaker is just so soft, so lightweight, it's perfect for running and for going to the gym and working out. If you do more weightlifting type and not so much cardio such as squatting or deadlifting, you're gonna want a sneaker that's gonna give you a sturdier stance. And for that, I recommend the Chuck Taylor. So if you're doing more squatting or weightlifting type, then something like a Chuck Taylor is gonna be great for you. And even better, the Chuck Taylor is a great casual sneaker that looks awesome outside the gym. Number two is what I like to call the everyday sneaker. Now what I mean with the everyday sneaker, this is the sneaker that requires no thought and you can wear with anything. Like if you're feeling lazy and you just want to wear a t-shirt, a dad hat, some shorts, your everyday sneakers are gonna look perfect with it. Also, if you wanna maybe just wear some jeans and a polo, your everyday sneakers are gonna look good for it. Hence, the everyday sneaker. Now for this one, personally, I think the Vans is my top choice when it comes to everyday sneaker. This is a sneaker that requires no thought when you're gonna style it because you can throw it on with almost anything and it's gonna look amazing. Now a close runner up that is my personal favorite are the Nike Tennis Classics. Again, these are a classic sneaker that you're gonna be able to wear every day. Both of these that you're seeing right now are a J. Crew edition. The white ones are probably are probably gonna be way more versatile, but the brown suede ones are my personal favorite. Number three is what I call the athleisure or lifestyle sneaker. So this is the sneaker that when you're going for that out of the gym, gym style, which is athleisure or even lifestyle, more like street style or streetwear, this is the sneaker you're gonna wanna pick up. Personally, the one that I've been wearing a lot are these Adidas Prime Knit, the white ones with the gum sole. I'm really digging these and I get a lot of views from them. Super comfortable. And by the way, shout out to one of you guys. So one of our viewers actually reached out to me through Instagram when the drop happened and I was able to pick up a pair before they sold out. But the reigning champ when it comes to lifestyle sneakers, and I know if I don't mention it, I'm gonna get it in the comment section, is the Adidas Ultra Boost, which is a more popular model. It's gonna be a little bit more pricey, but it's a great lifestyle and athleisure option. Nike has a, a good athleisure option as well, which is the Flyknit Racer, I believe it's called. It's a great alternative to the Ultra Boost. So if you're a Nike diehard fanboy, that could probably be a better option for you. And then we have the last two sneakers. The number four is what I like to call the dressy sneaker. So this one's gonna be a sneaker that's strictly all leather. This is a sneaker that you can even wear with casual suits, you can wear with chinos, and it's gonna elevate you to a more smart, casual look. A common example of this are the Common Project sneakers, or these white ones that you're seeing now from Frank and Oak that I've owned for almost three years, and you can pretty much see that from the heavy wear they have. So these two are great examples of what a dressy sneaker looks like. Usually all leather, and it's usually very simple in design, and it's gonna elevate your look to something more dressier, like a smart casual look. And the final one is a casual sneaker. This is a sneaker that's a little bit more casual than the dressy sneaker, but not as casual as your everyday sneaker, like your Vans or your Converse. And for this one, a good example of this are the Adidas 
Stan Smith. These are what probably always be the reigning champion when it comes to casual sneakers. When you're gonna want, when you want to wear an Oxford and jeans or maybe an Oxford and chinos, these are the sneakers you're gonna want to pull out to give you that dapper look you're looking for. So it's definitely something you're gonna want to add to your collection. All right, boys, that's it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think. So essentially the five sneakers that guys need are a gym sneaker, you're gonna need an athleisure or lifestyle sneaker, you're gonna need a casual sneaker, you're gonna need a dressy sneaker, and finally, you're gonna need an everyday sneaker that requires no thought. And if you agree, don't forget to drop us a like, it really helps us out. That's it for me in today's video, see you next time.